Subscribe our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, visit our website. SQL account, widely recognized by both accountants and accounting professionals of having Malaysia's best GST features, will now introduce you an even better GST analysis report. In SQL account, after you have generated your GST return, for example, in this case, I have done four quarterly GST report for the entire year from January to December. I will be able to go to GST and print GST listing to generate a report like this, where I can filter and see the GST value of each tax code as well as its document. But now we have done something even better. On the lower right hand corner of this report, you will see a button or a link like pivot table. Click on this pivot table and you open up a new screen that allows you to do analysis report in both the column row format of a traditional Excel. For example, if I want to be able to see the entire year local tax amount that I have paid or at least involved in transactions, I can see that it's 72,000. But this 72,000 can came from sales side as well as purchase side. So I can drag down my category and I will break down further. If it comes from multiple tax codes, all I need to do is drag down the tax and expand. It will actually show me each single tax code's value. If I want to cross compare it with this is the tax amount, but what if it document amount? Just drag your document amount here and you can see that for example here in the SR tax codes the document is 338,000 and the GSD tax is 20,000. What if I want it in the column field as well? Simple. For example, if I want to break down this tax, which account does it go to? I can drag in the account code descriptions and I'll be able to break it down even further. This is especially useful for accounting and accountants that need to break down at the end of the year which account, which GSD is posed to which account code so that they be able to do analysis of which account using the same GSD tax codes can do income tax deductible and which one cannot. As you can clearly see here, you can also put in your GSD and your GL account code in there and expand further and generate an even more complex and complete report, whichever way you like it. What if you prefer it, the GL account code on the row rather than the column? No problem. Just reverse the arrangement and voila, you get your report. Now, what if I only want to see all those transactions that is more than 3,000 ringgit in tax? Simple. Just right click on the pre filter dialog and click on here tax amount 3,000 and you break down it for you. Easy. And if you do not wish to view this and want to go back to the original state, just press on the cross or untick and you will get back your original display format. And all this is great, but if you cannot generate a report or an Excel, it's rather meaningless. That's why in this feature, you can export it to a Excel. And once you export it to an Excel, the report will actually look exactly the same as you have seen in the screen. Even the expand collapse function is still available. So this is only available from version 7.3.2 and above. If you upgrade, you will get this function. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest videos, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.